you. All right. Well, getting started. As you can see, it's getting darker and darker. We're slightly getting earlier and earlier, slowly. There's a bit of uh, stuff there to clean, but that won't take me too long. Let's get to it. There you go. All cleaned it out. But pump's not going at the moment, so it's all right. Boss is here. My dad's here. Let's go down and see what he wants to do first, whether it's milking or go and get the cows in. We've got another five here going on the bobby lorry. We do have a freeze in this one. It's got four points, not the fifth one. One of the feet yeah. there has got a bit of black on it, so he's not a good freezer. Even him, he's a bit smaller framed to be a real true freezer, so. So we can't not keeping them, otherwise the other ones are all boys, and yeah, boys don't produce milk. So we won't be keeping them. Okay. Well, let's put these little carvies in their pen over there. Oh, good little carvies. Happy ass, full ass. I'll oh, sit down and relax now. Okay. I think our plan is to go down and get some uh, cows and calves in now. Yeah? Dad's just pulled out the book. I'll just stand here because Spot tried to come through. Yeah, you've got another break down there. You're all right, girl. All right, and I'll bring the cause bag spreader. There we go, we're open. Got freeze in there. Little cow carved yesterday. Oh, there's a pretty new calf there too. Number three. Yeah. Wonder who your mum is. Okay. Yeah, just gonna let him through, and I'll take the cause mag. Spreader. Got seven in the calf trailer this morning. Boys in the front, girls in the back. Got four bulls and two girls. Well, one more to pick up still. Just standing up for the first time. Show the first feed in the calf bed. They look good. I want to get stuck through here. Better concentrate. There you go. There's our three little girls here. Four boys in the front, three girls in the back, and two mums out so far. Dad's bringing up another one now. It's a little bit crazy, that one. That's all right. So four cows to go. Jeez, there's a few calves this morning. Seven with the cows. And so we leave the reel up mainly because we need to, it gives us less of an area for the cows when we want to push them through to the gate. They can't, they don't, won't want to go over it even if it's not going, so even if they do get back on us, it gives us room, because they'll generally head back over to that corner, but they can go that way. <sighs> Dad's telling me to hurry up. There you go, Dad's just walking her out. That's our seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven garlies, seven cows, awesome. Go wind up a reel now. The cows are looking happy in their break. And yeah, we got all the mummies out now. And look, we're starting to get some fog rolling. It wasn't foggy just before. Oh well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, into the clip tank paddock. So they get a good feed and then we'll bring them in tonight to get milked. Just finished milking the colostrums. Um they got a horde of heifers down there. I just got a phone call to say they got six heifers coming up. So that brings our total today to 13. In. Seven in the cows and six in the Yeah, They're just waiting in here now. Got to wait till we check out all these heifers numbers. Make sure we get all the right ones. There we are, here's all the heifers cow, little carvings. Unfortunately, another dead one. But yep, they're looking happy little calves. Jules gonna go shift the reel, so these cows can go in the paddock. There's Mackenzie and Granddad. But Dallas must have gone with Jordan. So that's a total of 13 calves today. 12 to feed. Hey Tessa, 12 more to feed. There we go. We're milking away. All milking girls. Just about ready to put them in the vat. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. 
There's Dan, he can help cut this row up too. Oh, he's on the tail trimming business. Oh, well, that's all right. In the fence. Good. Hey? One post. One post. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good, There you go. That was easy. That was trimming tails. That's how we trim tails. Come down, feel the tip. Make sure you always feel the tip where it is. Thank you. Otherwise, you'll cut the end of the tail off. Yep, <laughs> push behind the tip. Like that one. <laughs> no, never cut it. All good. No, no we've never cut it. See? Perfect. The end of the tail is about here. Yep. So we trim their tails mainly because it keeps their asses nice and clean. And their titties nice and clean. And also signifies that they're ready to go into the vat. That's a bushy tail. And we pack the tails because we block up the pups. Yeah. So the hair's off the tail. That's right. He puts it in the bucket because it'll block up our little pit pump and we'll be fishing out the little pit pump and grabbing out the hair. As we say, the pit pump is purple. That's right. Yummy breakfast. Just working my way to the front, spraying them now. Just waiting for certain cows to finish milking. Yeah, we've got our little tea spray here. We are using it at quite a high rate now because of the uh, time of year with it being... Hey, get away. They're using quite a high rate in the teat spray with the time of year. It being wet and all, there'll be a lot more bugs in the ground and easier to get on their tits, so a lot more crap. So we'll be spraying their tits quite well to ensure they don't get any bugs that go up into the tit and cause mastitis. So we use a higher rate than normal. I can't quite remember what the rate is at the moment, but it will come to me when I finish spraying, probably. Okay, Tessa and Jordan have just finished cleaning the, cleaning the cafeterias. Dad is ringing the milkman because we are now running milk out because we have pulled up all of our drums, including those two drums yesterday that we bought over, which are 200 litre drums. So, cows are milking very well at the moment. So, let's go. These girls can go now. Hey, uh, Granddad's washing his new bike. He wants it to stay shiny. Thank you, Tessa. It's milking successful. Yeah, good girl, Mackenzie. Awesome, that's another success for Mole Kings. That's a nice and clean bike now. Of course, we spread a washed, and we'll go home for some lunch. This yep. is what we mean by uh, we're full capacity. There's 200 litre drums, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 100 litres, and a little 100 litre, well, about 120 odd litre drum there. So about 1,300 litres here, and we're at full capacity, so that's why the milk man's coming. What he'll do is he'll take the milk, any type of milk, penicillin or anything like that. They generally take them to either pig farms or to calf rearers, and they'll use this milk up. So yeah, this is probably the one time we'll get the milk taken, unless we get too much milk later on. Otherwise, yeah, so we'll just go straight to the milkman. We'll take the milk, feed the calves tonight with the new stuff, and start refilling up these drums. But yeah, we shouldn't have too much as we might start actually putting into that vat very soon. But yeah, the milk is, and the colostrum is filled up. These two drums, this one and that one there, and since last night, so, and two milkings, which is good. All right, well, we'll shoot off now. Another 
two calves for the morning, two uh, heifer ears, two heifer calves. Dad will just get the cows out of the paddock. I've set up the cow shed and he'll go set up the reel, wind up the reel and put it back out again and I'll follow these girls up. Jeepers. It's wet dreary weather. Oh girls, hop up, come on. Well, uh, all the milk we get tonight into the vat because the milkman's meant to be coming later on tonight. And he'll come through and pick up all our milk. And then we will, uh, yeah. He'll take it and buy it off us. And then we'll be ready, we'll have some storage and I'll just wash out those drums and wash out the, the vat. And we'll start refilling them up with colostrum. Well, the drums, that is. Until we start putting some milk in the vat, which is gonna be our main milking herd here at the moment. So we're now up to 50 cows in, which includes our new colostrum girls today. They'll be put in the uh, colostrum girls tonight. Go. This is our third row, but uh, yeah, we had to milk three separate rows because of the meal feeders on this side still not quite 100% yet. We will get there, we will get there. So we've got three cows on the buckets, those are our penicillin uh, painted up and definitely showing off that they are penicillin cows. She's not painted up and tape tail. Tape tail just means she's a three titter. And just to watch that front right, so she'll be staying out here a little bit longer. Otherwise, we're going good. Got a couple of treatments to do. She needs another tube of Ormdanella. She needs another Tyler guard, and so does that one down there. So I'll recap this one. Awesome. All right, well, that'll probably be us for the day. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. There we go. Well, needs a good clean out. Everyone have a good night. I'll do this and then I'll go home and have some dinner.